going on everybody? Dallas Hockey Girl DHG here with another cooking video. It's been a while my people, we need to cook. All right, so today we're gonna make um, just a very simple spaghetti sauce. Now, full disclosure, my family is not Italian. <laughs> In any way we don't have Italian heritage at all so we just make spaghetti so let me show you what we've got going on so we've got our ground beef um, browning in the pan so I have two pounds of ground beef because I got five people including dad to feed so two pounds for us so judge accordingly depending on how many people you're making the spaghetti sauce for and then the other thing we have some tomatoes that have been uh, just stewed in the hot water because we get tomatoes from a farm and they're, they've been in the freezer. So obviously they come out, they're super frozen. So, uh, we just, you just put them in the hot water, uh, and let them simmer and boil for a few minutes until they're soft and squishy. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them. So then the other things you're going to need are some onions and garlic, of course your salt and pepper. And then um, just, I use just some Italian seasoning, uh, just from Costco, nothing exciting. So we'll let our, turn our meat down so that uh, that doesn't get away on us while we're dealing with the tomatoes. So let me set you up here so you can see the tomatoes. All right, so what we're gonna do with the tomatoes. So we also have our um, colander with a bowl. That's going to be important later. So, hold on, do that. Put it back in the sink. And then, lay the water out. Because you're going to want that uh, water later. All right, so then, let all of that drain. So then I'm just gonna take each, I'm gonna move my pot so you can see what I'm doing. So, you're just gonna take each tomato, and I just use a little fork, and just scrape away um, all the tomato pulp, uh, because we just we just wash and freeze the tomatoes whole, we don't do anything with them. So uh, you wanna get rid of like the core and the skin, some of the skin and all that. So I find this works pretty good. It does get a little messy. But as we always have said, if you're not getting messy, you're not really cooking. So when you just pick out the bits of uh, tomato skin and just keep them in a little pile. So then you have your little yummy tomato pulp. So you just keep pulling out your tomatoes and scraping away. So. And you can also use this uh, sauce for your lasagna. When you make uh, your lasagna, it's really, really good. It's just your basic, basic tomato sauce. Really, really good. So what does everybody like in the way of pasta? Put it in the chat. Does everybody like just regular spaghetti? Do you like meatballs with your spaghetti or no meatballs? Do you like, um, do you prefer um, like rigatoni? Do you like uh, fettuccine, fettuccine Alfredo? What do does everybody like in the way of pasta? And has anybody been to Italy to try pasta, like the real kind of pasta from Italy? Has anybody been there? My sister's been there a couple of times with my niece and they absolutely eat their way through Italy. The pictures of the food that she has sent are just unbelievable. It's apparently the food is to die for. Absolutely to die for. But as I said, this gets very messy. Very, very messy. So we just keep picking away, scraping away the tomatoes. We're almost done. I think I only put about eight tomatoes in here. Um, and the tomatoes, the number of tomatoes, again, uh, you can vary uh, just based on how many 
people you're cooking for. Like I said, I'm cook this is for about five people. However, I always factor in, uh, as I said, dad, he'll have a good, good size portion. And also uh, some leftovers um, for lunch the next day. So I always sort of factor that in when I'm deciding how much to, to cook of something or how much to make. Because for the most part, leftovers don't uh, get, go too far. Uh, they don't stick around for too long or go too far around here. They get eaten pretty quick. That'll be our next poll. How about that's our next poll question? How does, uh, does everybody do a lot of leftovers in their house or not really? And if you have leftovers in your house, do you eat them pretty quick or do you, uh, do they sit in the back, do they end up in the back of your fridge and you forget about them? And then the food goes bad. I've done that and I get really mad at myself because you take all the time and trouble to make, make something and then, oh, there's leftovers, cool. But then <laughs> you forget about it and then you find it in the back of the fridge and, uh, and it's gone bad. Not good. Not good. Especially these days with all of the uh, prices of groceries being so expensive. That's why we get uh, a lot of stuff from a farm because it's a little more expensive um, for certain things, but you know the quality is gonna be good and we usually buy, you know, a bunch of meat or uh, vegetables at a time. So, you know, uh, as long as you've got some freezer space, you're good. Okay. Tomato skins in there, and that would look good. All right, so as you can see, I'll show you here. We have all of this tomato water, which we're gonna use. Uh, it will simmer down, so we're, you won't, uh, you're not gonna be eating it all, but you will use it. All right, so now, we'll leave this mess here. We will clean that up, I promise. So now, we'll go back to browning our meat, because this meat um, is from the store. We have meat that's from the farm, but we also had some that was from the store, so we needed to get that eaten up. So the store meat always has more uh, grease. So you want to drain that off, otherwise your spaghetti sauce will be uh, pretty greasy. And I always take my wooden spoon and just sort of twist around so that you don't have like giant chunks of meat. You want your meat to just be in small, small bits. But uh, this was frozen as well, obviously from the freezer. What would Chef Ramsay say? He doesn't like anything that's frozen. So I don't know what he would think of my food being all frozen. I'm sure he would throw me out of Hell's Kitchen for making something frozen. But when you work and do other things, stuff is in the freezer. Well, there you go, there's our third poll question. Does everybody have uh, big freezers? Or does everybody uh, get stuff? Like, do you go to Costco and get to uh, do a big shopping and get all kinds of stuff for your freezer? All right, I'm gonna put you over here because that side of the counter is very messy. So, hold on, I forgot a bowl. So, we're going to use our strainer again, and we're just going to put a bowl under it because um, there's grease, and we don't want the grease to go down the side. We don't want that. Okay, so we're going to put our bowl under it because there's grease, and we don't want the grease to go down the side. We don't want that. And we're not going to pour the grease and um, put it outside or anything like that because where I live, we do get bears. So I'm not gonna rinse out the pan. I am gonna leave just the wee bit of grease that's in the pan, because that will be uh, some flavor for the meat. Okay. So I'm just moving this around so that it drains all, as much of the grease as possible. 
Okay, here we go. So as you can see, that's a fair bit of grease. We don't want that in our spaghetti sauce. So we're gonna put this meat in the pan. Otherwise that will drip all over the floor. And we don't want that. So there. And we're gonna put in our tomato hole. Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. My bad. Didn't move the camera. <laughs> it gets a bit messy, so I'm trying not to touch too much. So you just pour your tomato uh, pulp in. Uh, tomato skin. And then we pour in our tomato water. We won't pour it all in, just about that much. Give that a stir. And then flip you back around. So now we're just going to tidy up just a little bit. Because we're going to do our onions and our garlic here in just a second. But everything is wet and messy on this counter. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. our uh, chopper to chop our onions because I like when I put onions in things uh, I like it kind of finely chopped. I know Sam's not allowed to use electrical appliances so he would have to cut all this by hand but we're going to use a chopper. So we're going to chop our onions. Now I'm putting in two onions because I'm doing two pounds of beef but you could put in three onions. It depends on, you know, some folks like a fair bit of onion in their uh, food and in their dishes. So totally up to you. Uh, this is one of those recipes that you can very much um, adjust to, to your uh, liking because it's, there's no right or wrong way to do it. And if you have uh, folks who um, aren't fans of onion, you can leave the onion out. Or if they're not fans of garlic, they can leave the garlic out. And you can certainly do, um, you can leave the meat out and just do the tomato sauce if, you're got, um, if you've got your uh, vegan or vegetarian friends. You can certainly do that. Okay, so there's our chunks of onion. And the same uh, with the garlic is with the onion. Uh, you can use, I'm gonna use two kind of good sized cloves of garlic, because that's kind of what I have sitting here in the kitchen that needs to be used. Oh, I lied. Oh, no, there it is. I was gonna say, I thought I had two cloves. The other clove was very stuck to the side. But one clove is quite big. This clove is very big, but that's okay. So again, uh, you can put in as much garlic as uh, you like, depending on how garlicky you like things. And you can certainly um, use garlic powder. If you don't have fresh garlic and you're in a pinch, you can certainly use garlic powder. All right, so flip you back around again to the stove. There's our sauce. So, all right. I always I like doing my onions in the chopper so that uh, you don't usually get uh, too much problem with your eyes and the onions bothering your eyes if you do them in the chopper. So we're going to give that a stir and I'm going to turn the heat up, turn the heat up and sort of bring this to a little bit of a boil 
for a few minutes. And now, we're gonna put in our salt. And because this is quite watery, I know it looks, quite, it looks like I'm putting in quite a bit of salt and pepper. Let me use the other side of the pepper. Um, but because there's a lot of water, it will uh, boil down. So you can always uh, just keep tasting and you can add more spice as you like. So salt and pepper and Italian seasoning um, just to taste. And you can certainly leave out the Italian seasoning if you want, just do salt and pepper. Totally up to you. So there is our spaghetti sauce. Pretty simple and quick. It's something you can throw together pretty fast if you're running short of time or, or uh, things or uh, ideas for dinner. You can always just throw together a spaghetti sauce. So we're gonna let that simmer down for a little bit and then I will come back and I'll just show you what it, the final sauce kind of looks like and then we'll say goodbye. All right, get your tomatoes going. Welcome back everybody. Hope you're still having a good day. Here is our finished, wait, I'll get my spoon. Here is our finished spaghetti sauce, so way less watery. And you can um, simmer it down more to make it as wet and saucy, um, oh, wet and saucy, um, as, <laughs> as wet as you want it, or a little more uh, dry so the meat's a little bit more out there. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have fun cooking.